built your roof as the water came in. But we need water to live, right? So we have to take the good with the bad, the point I'm trying to make. So when I see what we call evil or suffering in the world, it makes me remember that this world is not what it's supposed to be. This world is in a fallen state. And these things are the way they are because if you go all the way back to the beginning of the Bible, it said when God made everything, He said it was good, it was perfect, the way He designed it, the way He made everything. And it tells the story of this beautiful garden where he put the first man in this garden. And it says the Creator God had this relationship with this first man and used to visit him. And God was so loving and giving that he made all this beautiful creation and gave it to this man. He said, I'm giving you this and I'm just asking you to care for it and I'm going to teach you how. And he gave him a helper, he gave him a wife. But he, he set some boundaries. Boundaries are a good thing. We may not like boundaries sometimes. Maybe there's boundaries in a relationship with somebody. If you're a parent, you have to tell your kid no. You know it's good to teach your children that word no. That's a really important word to teach your child. But that's a boundary, that's a boundary in the relationship. Right? You know, you don't let a 10 year old drive your car. They may want to drive your car. They may think that they're ready to drive the car. But you have to tell them no. Because we know better, right? And that's the same with God. Sometimes He tells us no. Because He knows what's best for us, right? So when God tells us no, we need to listen to Him and obey Him because we have to trust that He knows what He's doing. So God set some boundaries for Adam in the garden. He said, I've given you all this to enjoy, and I want you to enjoy this beautiful garden and all the foods. And I'm, and I'm asking you to eat from this tree of life. He said, just don't eat from this tree of knowledge and good and evil. And he said, because if you eat from that tree, you will die. And God wasn't telling him that because he was trying to be mean or because he didn't love them. He was trying to protect them. But because they didn't listen, and Adam stood there while he ate from the fruit, listened to the serpent, he 
Pentru urmare, a doua 